everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So more than 1100 sea lions could be killed annually every single year along the stretch of the Columbia River on the Oregon-Washington border to help boost faltering populations of salmon and steelhead feral officials said in late August. Because culling always works. <sighs> anyway, the agency said that billions of dollars on hab uh, hab habitat restoration, fishing passages at dams, which is the key note here, mm. uh, and the other efforts, and lots of other efforts, obviously have been spent in three states over the last couple of decades to save 13 species of Colombian bassin salmon and still head, uh, which are protected under the Endangered Species Act. And the sea lions who are, you know, they're a smart bunch, found out that the best way to get to the salmon is actually at these fish passage at the dams, because they literally channel them in <laughs> and they just go, whoop, you like you. <laughs> so they're geniuses. Uh, so yeah, basically because humans uh, have created this problem, they're filtering the salmon and whatnot into one nice, easy, like, conveyor <laughs> it's, belt of it's food. Literally, it's literally McDonald's. It's just creating really lazy sea lions yep. and really dead sea um, salmon. Yep. Uh, so yeah, basically because of us, sea lions are being smart. Um, and basically we're taking the dumb way out by saying that just if we kill all of them, then the salmon will be able to go through, it's fine. Not like create some kind of safe channel for them so that they can then eventually Literally. try and get away from the sea lions. All they have to do, yeah, all they have to do is by the dams or whatever, literally put like a cage, yeah. a stretch of cage over it. So then when it gets to a wider bit of the river, they can then spread yeah, so out a bit. You'll have the sea lions there, but it doesn't matter. They're not, huh, thanks. Yeah, but huh, thanks. Thanks. thank you very much. Smart. Oh. <laughs> so the new law could see 900 California sea lions and 250 stellar sea lions basically are going to be killed each year because they eat these really easy to catch salmon. Thanks to us. Well done people. Um, or how about this idea, rather than killing the sea lions or you know just, what? I don't know. No just being, ah. Oh. Who knows? Sea lions, you could basically make these, oh yeah, so what we said earlier, problem solved. Problem yeah, it's, just, just think of a smarter way of going, rather than killing the sea lions, that's kind of a smarter, cleverer way where the salmon are protected, but we're not killing sea lions. Yeah. Because it's our fault. Yeah. Humans suck. I say it literally every other DSN. <laughs> Humans suck. It is our fault. <clears throat> Anyway, the Wild Fish Conservancy, Conservancy? Yeah. Conservancy, yeah. yeah. Is of course opposed to killing sea lions, like most people would be, to be honest with you. Uh, the group says that actual habitat destruction, dams, and over-harvesting have greater impacts on the life of salmon, you know, than actual sea lions. Yeah. Uh, they went on record saying killing sea lions is a kind of scapegoating. Uh, when there are a lot of other actions we are choosing not to do, um, uh, oh, I've completely, yeah, completely that would missed. have a larger impact. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of other stuff. Okay, it might be a little bit harder to do, but actually, no, they're just like, oh, this is the easy route. We'll just kill these sea lions. Yeah, it's not like they'll just keep coming back because they know that that's an easy feeding ground because that's going to happen. Who knows? Anyway, this isn't actually law yet. It's just been proposed, uh, and it will be up for a public talk in late October for people to sort of air their views on the matter and kind of, yeah, say, actually, no, I, I think there's a better way of doing this. Uh, hopefully, more evidence can be presented to stop the killing of sea lions, because why wouldn't there be? Yeah. Just because we caused this problem uh, doesn't mean that we have to kill. Yeah, we, the... we caused the problem, so we should find the solution that isn't killing the species that's going there for an easy meal because we caused that easy meal. Yeah, I mean, I, I do see the point of some culls, like with deer and whatnot, because no, they no. will just decimate everything the, and only then one there cull. won't be enough. There's only one cull, and that's the cull of humanity. That would definitely help most You want to save this earth? <laughs> kill, kill all, actually no, because this could, don't kill people. This could backfire. Yeah. We're going very Thanos here. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> no, boy, see, he wanted half. I'm saying all. <laughs> you want to save the earth? Kill yourself. The needs no. of the many outweigh the few. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, should we be killing more sea lions just no. to keep salmon Who life cares? No. up? No. 
is there anything else that we can do? Will this actually work? Or should we start looking at other areas that might actually help save the salmon and the sea lions at the same time? Who knows? Let's discuss in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's story, then why not give it a like, share it with your diving buddies, and of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything scuba diving, then smash on that bell icon. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. And humanity sucks, but don't kill people. It's kind of, it's frowned upon a little bit. It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.